And now you got to live here, and I never heard of trouble out of you. And you always got one. Uh, it's a respect, I guess. I respect him, they respect me. Also, I have a little more somebody to fight to kill that spot. You know, I bring the gloves out, let them put the gloves on. You know, let them box it, they get the angry out of them, you know, to take off the, you know. And in that way, they learn, you know, learn to be free. You know, like all the time, fight each other. Tony not the all the ball. That's the only thing with him. He's a bad loser. <laughs> he want to win all the time. He's been so used to winning. I guess it's hard for him to do. Right? Thanks, uh, Dave. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, yeah. I want to. Somewhere else. Time to sit. Stop on Probably be the same. They said for the last seven years, the new project has been to no avail. Nothing happened. Probably be the same. These will probably be knocked down. Just gotta wait and see. So I'm just gonna have to make up my mind. I tell you guys, I tell you guys, I tell you my head to be clean. I don't mind if I can move to the Navy. I said I don't even have to come to the Navy. I don't even have to come to the Navy. I don't know. I always, I always watch it because it's not going to come up every day. But now, I guess my grades are still really high. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. Yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. I grew up here. This place is how to become what I am. I guess I can abandon it, you know. I would have to clean neighborhood and I would be like, all these people out here just go, throw down and we go. And I would like people to stop littering down the back so I don't have to sweep that much. I would like people to stop throwing stuff down, down, down the hallway so I don't have to sweep that much either. And, and I would like people to stop busting glass around here because people get hurt when, when, when other people bust glass. This is more like the guard and stuff. Um, we're trying to wait for them to get these buildings over. Um, give it to somebody on a swag group program and steal them up. Before we really get serious down here, we got a week to put up with all these dogs. Just with concrete and garbage being dumped. What happened? They didn't fence it off. They could knock down the building anyway and come dump bricks in there. Who's going to tell them anything? When they knocked down the building over there, they had bricks all over here. They didn't clean it up. We cleaned it up. We tried. We try to get money from the city to renovate the building, to try to fix it up, make it livable for more of our people. And we're four out of the block, there's no place to live. What's the city say? We got red tape, two, three years maybe. Two, three years, there might not be a killing. They might burn this whole thing down. What are we supposed to do in two, three years? There won't be nothing here for us. And we want it. The South Park's got the worst housing in the whole goddamn state. Why can't we take a little of this money and put it back in here? We see, hey, we got buildings that have beautiful structures, and they're just being demolished. But if you start somewhere, if you build Kelly Street, and then you build Interval, and then you build Sex, you people start seeing who they are working, and the people who work in the buildings, live in the buildings, and rent in the buildings, they're all there. So then they don't want, they don't just want one square block looking nice. But we don't only want to rebuild Kelly Street, we want to rebuild the neighborhood. But if we destroy what we got here, they just want to build it up. And where are we going to be? Where are we going to have? You know? We're going to be in the same place. Maybe a couple of projects around with a little green grass that the kids can die in the back of the city. We don't want that. We want to stay where we are. We want to make it. All right, we keep doing these three buildings, and it comes out beautiful. We're off the ground. But we can't do nothing. Because we're too poor to take money out of our pocket. We're $3,000 a year for a building. Hey, that's a lot of money. 
I know we ain't talking to tens, but we're not talking to millions like everybody else is. You put a proposal in here, this proposal ain't no good, it's not worthy about it. What do we know? We're not technicians or nothing. We're just common people. We have knowledge, and we know we can put that building together, but we ain't got a piece of paper that says we can do it. So they don't want to hear our place. We're not asking for money, person. We're asking for the group. Not as savages, not as ghettos, not as Negroes, not as blacks, as people. Just being people. We want better police protection. We want better city cooperation. All we ask for is get to the field going fast. In 1969, the city grew up the master plan for the renovation of the South Bronx. Several and state homes were pulled in, signs were raised, and whole blocks were left to make way for the new construction. It never came. Scandals and mismanagement closed the program, and changing administrations brought with them new priorities. In 1973, President Nixon put a freeze on federal funds from city housing. As the flow of federal money stopped, the city adopted the attitude of many of the landlords. It cut back on all essential services. And theft. Abandonment of the earth. Thank you. 